Well, today I am bottling my second batch of apple cider. This cider I got from the grocery store was actually cider to begin with, not apple juice. And I think the real difference is that it had like thick bits and pulpiness in it. So that's what we started with. 216 grams of sugar, dextrose I guess, 3 liters of cider, and the 1118 yeast, champagne yeast. So here's the finished product. I got uh, most of a 750 filled and then this is my 2 liter growler that I got at Midwest Supply last month. Um, so that's a 2 liter and uh, it's not quite full and you can see all of the f all the sediment on the bottom of my primary here like there's a lot of stuff there that of course is not just yeast that's like the leftover apple -y bits and stuff from the actual cider and here in my little uh, hydrometer tube which I also got there you can see we're sitting right at I don't know if we'll focus on that but you can see that we're sitting right at 1.000 on the hydrometer scale so there you go there's my cider so as I'm prone to doing I make things up as I go along and I remember wanting to make a sparkling cider last time I did my cider but I didn't so this time I did I added two tablespoons of brewer sugar dextrose to this 750 of my cider so hopefully that will bottle condition into a sparkling cider who knows um, I know I did pick up a little bit of yeast um, and other sediment from the bottom of the primary when I was bottling so hopefully that'll do the trick and I'm gonna put this in a bucket or something in the basement in case it blows its top. Woo! Sparkling cider. I'll let you know how it goes.